How can the 12 synergy crystals be used to facilitate ascension activation? Oh, the synergy 12. Okay, so uh, for those of you who don't know, the synergy 12 stones are 12 different minerals that are thought by the owner of heaven and earth, Robert Simmons, who is also the co-author of the Book of Stones and the author of um, Stones of the New Consciousness. It's thought that these 12 synergy stones will help people to activate their light bodies and enhance the process of spiritual ascension and evolution and um, make this happen more rapidly. So the reason that this could be beneficial for people is if you are at a point where your body starts to make these energetic shifts as we're moving forward, um, then you might find that there are certain times where you get stuck in that particular level of energy. And when you need something to help you break through to that next level, that next spiritual cycle, that's where some of these stones can come in handy because they are very high vibrational, high energy, and similar to the way that Melody explains the Grand Formation stones and their purpose as being here for us at this time of, you know, reawaking our spiritual selves, Robert Simmons explains these Synergy 12 sort of for the same purpose. So again, because we're all a little bit different, we'll have different personal preference and different resonant frequencies and what we find is helpful to work with as we go through this uh, process of spiritual evolution, but they definitely have their place. And one thing that I've tried um, is actually placing a grid of the Synergy 12 in a circle around my body during meditation. And that is really cool, a little bit intense, like 10 minutes tops is probably good for most people. Um, the only downside is that some of the stones can be a little hard to find unless you get them direct from heaven and earth and some of them are even trademarked or trade named um, and some of them can be very expensive. So again, you know, don't be afraid to substitute some things. You can find other very high energy stones that aren't necessarily considered part of the Synergy 12. So just be open minded to the different um, frequencies that you come across. If you find that a stone works very well with your energy field and it helps put you in a calm, grounded, centered place, it very well could help you work through some of these shifts. So uh, other than trying the um, grid with all 12 around your body, which can be rather intense, you might want to just take a few days meditating with one of the stones and then after a few days move on to the next and then to the next and then to the next. Um, the other thing you can do is actually correspond those 12 stones in a full body chakra layout and some healers believe that there are actually more than just seven chakras, there are actually 12 or 16 or even 18 uh, major chakras extending from below the feet to well above the head and so you might try placing these 12 synergy stones on different chakra points throughout your energy field and again that's not going to be for everyone because it will be very intense but if you really need that energetic breakthrough it could be something you could try. A lot of people expect that what's happening right now is that our field is actually going to shift into that Merkaba formation. And I know Drenvalo Melchizedek is one of the sort of forethinkers in this um, field when he talks about light body activation and uh, sacred geometry of the light body. And many people believe that what's happening right now is our energy field is actually shifting from this shape of a luminous egg. Um, like is referred to by people like Carlos Castaneda, and it's shifting to this formation that's supposed to be a more advanced energetic formation of the Merkaba light body.